always beating your drums. You want to be beating the drum like Davy I was beating them drums. Come on, that's how, because that's how the enemy's going to fight you. You got to beat it just like that. Amen. I promise, I promise, I promise I won't be before you long. Uh, for those who came out, I know the weather's supposed to get bad. Some of y'all came here on a prayer. You're going to leave here on a promise that you're going to make it home. Amen. Amen. You're going to leave here on a promise. Um, the weather's supposed to be getting bad and we won't be late. We just... A little late, we got a little overboard celebrating our bishop's birthday today. So if you didn't know it, if you showed up late, our man of God is celebrating his birthday, which is what he teaches here. So that's why he's not here. Uh, there's others, Mary Roundtree celebrating her birthday in Chicago. January is full of birthdays. Ah, uh, whatever. We got a bunch of January birthdays. We teach celebration, so we can't have him teaching us. And he's sitting there uh, teaching y'all. He didn't already talk, so I thank God that he's entrusted me with a responsibility uh, to teach while he's gone. He's coming back. Don't, don't fret. Trust me, he's coming back. We had an awesome time Tuesday and Wednesday. God broke some things. <laughs> it was a little deep. I apologize. I didn't want to apologize. No, I ain't apologizing. I don't want to apologize. I ain't sorry. I meant everything I said. And I meant to say it the way I said it. Uh, but Tuesday was uh, it was hard for the men, insightful for the women, uh, but it was a blessing for everybody, single, married, male, female. A lot of us came here with lame issues, issues that we've been dealing with since birth, and it hinders each other, it hinders the kingdom. You've been dealing with it, you just want people to carry you, uh, carry you here. When you come in lame, you get carried, you get used to people carrying you, you get used to people taking care of you, you get used to the excuses. All of us have enough excuses. We have a book of excuses that we've studied. Not the word, but a book of excuses that we study. We have an explanation as to why we are the way we are. Why we do what we do, but you don't understand this happened. Every one of us have something here. If we got going, we'd be here all night telling our stories, and then we try to outdo somebody. Somebody talk about, hey, you know, well, I'm single, and I got two kids. Well, I'm married, but I feel like I'm single because I got these kids, and I got a wife. We all, command enough of that. You need to understand who you are in Christ, why you sit here, and know that you can get up. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So we want, I'm going to make sure that everybody understands that you don't have to stay in that lame state that you're in. Amen. You don't have to stay there. Don't allow the enemy to use that as a hindrance. That is never meant what he used to try to. Is that my brother coming in here? Y'all don't play. Man, come on. Man. Come on. No, man, don't play. Don't play. Y'all don't make me cry. <laughs>
That's right, you family. This is home. Come on, that's Deborah Washington's son. I got three sons. Ain't nobody happier than her. Come on now. <laughs> Satan lost, punk devil. <laughs> yes. Somebody kept praying. Oh, that's why you in here, because somebody kept praying. They didn't give up on you. Somebody had enough. It doesn't matter what situation you was in, what you was doing at the time. Somebody believed that any moment, at any moment, the shackles that the enemy had over your mind telling you what you can't do was going to be broken. That any moment, the lie that he kept telling you, you was going to finally believe in the truth. We all have a form of lameness. We all have something we got to deal with. Come on, let, them, let me finish this so we can get out of here. Let him sit down next to his mama. Real quick, we have time. I want to get this out. He came in here for a reason. Okay, Holy Ghost, and you got to do it. You got to have your way. Forget what I thought I was going to say. I see we still on the men, okay? I tried to leave y'all alone. But when my brother came in here, Something broke off of him and somebody else, and somebody else came in here. <laughs> hey. Hey. Oh, hey. Come on now. Somebody's tired. So, oh, thank God that we have a home that I met a God. He ain't in Paris because he ran away. He just celebrating, but Grace Apostolic still stands. So that any time when you get crazy in your mind, whether you leave or stay, at any time you can come home. That means everything. Some people don't have nowhere to go. Some people are out there. They don't. Have, they don't stand up. They don't come back in. And people standing up. Hallelujah. We ain't gonna let you pray them, man. I ain't got nothing to say. We ain't gonna let you pray them by yourself, brother. Make sure somebody get a picture. Happy birthday, Dad. Hallelujah. That's another picture we need to make sure we post. Come on, man. You ain't the only one, brother, that came in here. Lame. Look at the men. Come on. Yes, hallelujah. Come on, the same thing that got broken up for them is going to get broken up for you in the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, look at what Satan thought he had. Say you a liar. We've been praying, we've been fasting, yeah, 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 we've yeah. been believing God for this day. That's for somebody who thought they could get out there and be lost. Everybody can't come back home. Oh, come on, hallelujah. Come on, man, in the name of Jesus. God, we thank you, hallelujah. Everybody extend their right hand. Oh, we thank you, Father God. Yes, hallelujah. Come on, in the name of Jesus. Pray, Pastor KT. We got time for this. We don't have to have no. Come on. Yes, come on. Pray. Right here, right now. Right here, right now. Right here, right now. He hears you. He hears you. He ain't forgot. He ain't forgot. He ain't forgot. He ain't forgot. God remembers. Your soul. Your soul. Your soul. Your soul. You and Jesus. Nobody, it's just you and Jesus. He knows. He knows. He knows. He knows. Lord is my strength. Lord, you are my strength. You are my strength. You are my strength. The Lord is my strength in a time of trouble. My strength. My strength. I need you. I need you. Don't forget me. Don't forget me. Don't forget me, Lord. Hallelujah. I need you. My soul. Me and you. 
Mírio, I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. You be good. You be good despite me. You be good. You be good despite me. Despite me, I need you, Lord. Hallelujah. I need you. Don't let me go. Don't let me go. Don't let me go. All of you. I need all of you. I need all of you. Not a little bit. I need it all. 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 I can't let go. 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 You my strength, Lord. You my strength. You my strength. You my strength. In a time of trouble, you my strength. You my strength. I gotta cease from anger. I gotta forsake wrath. I gotta fret now, Lord. I gotta lean on you. I need you. I need you. My soul needs you. My soul needs you. Hear my cry. Hear my cry. Me and you. Me and you. Me and you. He ain't forgot. He ain't forgot. The Lord is my strength. In a time of trouble. The Lord is my strength. In a time of trouble. The Lord is my strength. In a time of trouble. My strength. My strength. My strength. I need you all the way. I need you all the way. Let it run over, Father. Hallelujah. Let it run over. You go hear from me right here, right now. You go hear from me. Hallelujah. I'm going to draw closer to you. Draw close to me. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. that needs to be dealt with every man. You don't have to keep coming here the same way. There's healings. He's just a brother that the enemy went overtime on. But everybody came in here with something that could be broken off of them. There's enough power in here. There's enough power in here. Come on. Your mama kept praying for you. For every mother who didn't give up on their son. For every mother who went to war. And said, devil, you're a lie. Oh, thank you, God. For every saint. Come on, heaven is rejoicing. What a birthday gift. <laughs> yes. Come on, y'all. If you focused on your own lameness, there's enough Holy Ghost in here that it clean some stuff up before the storm comes. Oh, trust me. It ain't just Vernon. There's other people. You can lock in on somebody else. There's somebody else's son in here. There's somebody else's daughter in here. Oh, hold on. What about the lateness in you? Wait a minute. I came here with something. I came here with something, God. Oh, hallelujah. I thank you, Lord. What a beautiful sight when a man of God can intercede and pray for another man. That means something got broke off. I don't, I don't care what the enemy tried to tell me. That was inappropriate. That was too much. Satan, you a lie. Something got broke off of the man. Somebody got up. Somebody took a hold of Peter's hand and got up and started walking. Yes, yes. Submit. Submit yourself unto God. God, I submit. We ain't staying with him. There's somebody else in here that needs to submit unto God. I submit, God. I'm not no pope because I submit to God. You can't do nothing with a bad God. That's a mighty God. That ain't just anybody. He gonna get you where he wants you to be. He don't care what he gotta do. He don't care who he gotta remove out of your life. He can wreck some things to get you where he wants you. That's the God we serve. That's his right. He said what belongs to me 
I'm a jealous God. I didn't want Vernon out there. He belonged to me. You can't do nothing with a jealous God but submit. Come on, I submit. I'm home. Ain't nothing out there for me, God. This is where I belong. This is where I learn precepts and precepts and teaching. I didn't have all the keys to be a man. You ain't the only one. You're surrounded by men that needed help. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, thank you, God. Woo, thank you, Jesus. And we ain't going to come on. Somebody intercede for his mind. We ain't going to let Satan tell you. Your marriage fell apart. We ain't, ain't nobody going to come up to you. And there ain't no prerequisite for you to come home. We just want you home. But what about the mistakes I made? Come on, y'all. Let him pressure. Y'all sit down because it ain't just him. It's somebody else sitting here that never left. That never went out there. Some people say, I just can't do my dirt here. Some of y'all can keep here. Still stay here and do your dirt. This is not a place to play. You just witnessed this is a house of God that's set up by God. We can't be playing church in here. Don't matter if the man of God is in town or out of town. We're not playing up in here. That means there's enough power that the man of God has orchestrated and set up to draw people to come home. He could have drove by and said, oh, Bishop's car's not there. No, not today. No, I need you today, God. I'm submitting myself unto God. Because whatever you submit yourself to owns you. That's why you looking like you looking. That's why you feeling like you feeling. Because you submitted to things that didn't line up with the word of God. And now you broke it. You already came in the world lame and you just added more stuff. And it's getting heavier and heavier. Because that's what owns you. Read that. Read James. It's in there. <laughs> um, trust me, I ain't got much more to say. Whatever God is doing in this season, yeah. he ain't going to do it without Vernon. Right. Hmm. Come on now. He said, uh, whatever he's doing, somehow, some way, what was going on Tuesday and Wednesday for the men, which is what God is doing in this season. So for every man that came in here today, God bless you, because God is doing something with the men. Yeah. Yeah. Thank God he's not doing it without you. I believe in men being heads and not being afraid. See, when stuff is broken off, you can worship. That's all y'all witness. Had a little rough talk with my brothers on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. A little up close and personal. But something got broke off. I know it did because it was heavy on me. So I know it got broke off of them. I don't mind. I got people interceding. I don't care. I'm not scared to fight the enemy. I got three boys. I got too many brothers that I love. I hate to see another homicide victim, another man. Yeah. Beat down All that gift and talents Wasted in the street God said what are you talking about I'm a jealous God you belong to me You better know that you belong to God You can't just live your life any kind of way You want to live your life I don't care what you think you're going to do Everything is going to mess up It's going to keep messing up It's going to keep stumbling he gonna, People going to keep tripping with you He's not playing I don't have time To explain to you Submit Come on man Submit. That's what I'm requiring of you. For those who come here every week and ain't never left, submit. Quit playing. You trying to be sneaky. You trying to do stuff on the sly. Ask some grown folks that try sneaky. Sneaky don't work. Sneaky don't work. God sees everything. You be like, I know what nobody here. What, what's, what's going on? Ain't nobody here. I, 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 got my, I got every base covered. I can do this. Ain't nobody around. Man. Ain't nobody going to Wyoming. It'd be a saint in Wyoming. Why you creeping? Uh, now, well, what's going on? What, ain't no, what Mark is doing in Wyoming? Oh, come on. That's, how, that's the love of God. That's the mercy of God. To make sure everything you try to do, everybody slick, get away with everything. Some people ain't even got to be good at being slick. And get seem like they get away with everything, Kita. You just have a thought. And a word will come. God said, I'm not playing with you. Right, right. I don't want everything. 
But you, Reggie, yeah, I'm not playing with you. You belong to me. Right. Come on. Submit. Read that, May Lee. Read James. James chapter. Four. James four. It's in there. I know it's in there. I read it earlier. Seven. Yep. Submit yourselves, therefore, to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Draw, You've been, go ahead. Go ahead and read it. Draw nigh to God, and he will draw nigh to you. Real quick, here's a formula. Number one, submit. Just surrender. Just give up. You ain't slick enough. You don't know enough. You ain't smart enough. Just submit. Just say, you know what? I messed up. We all messed up. Some of us messed up while we were still here. Mm -hmm. I messed up. <laughs> hey, I don't care who's looking at me. You're right. right. It is what it is. But God, I don't want to continue in this. Right. I messed up because I didn't resist the enemy. I gave in to every winning and doctor. To every thought that came to my mind, I just gave in to it. I did everything I wanted to do. You get a certain age, ain't nobody going to make you do nothing. You get a certain age in Christ, he ain't going to make you worship him. Do what you want to do. But somebody said, no, I got to fight this thing. I got to fight this thing for life. I'm not going to keep uh, uh, allowing him to mess up my mind. There's some strongholds. I've been laying for life, whatever. My family situation, we all come from dysfunction. Started with Cain and Abel, the first dysfunctional family. So there you go. I got a jacked up family. I got a messed up brothers. My mom's gone. I ain't had my dad. We wouldn't have these pity parties. No, there's no reason. That don't have no reason. Nothing that's happened to me is going to stop me from making sure that that one get back to Boston. He didn't get to Boston with the help of his dad. It didn't matter. So what? He was lame. I got to make sure he understands. So you don't go through life lame and mess up somebody else's life. Lame men make babies and they can't take care of them. So don't be discouraged. Our baby daddy ain't there. He lame. Don't nobody show him. It is what it is. You make sure you get to work and you get up and walk. And I'm not going to pour that in him. I'm not going to have no pity party. I'm requiring of you what wasn't required of him. I'm not playing. I thank God. Everybody don't have the strength. It takes a lot to come back in here. It takes a lot to say, hey, you know what? <laughs> It ain't like you ain't been getting beat, beat up. It ain't like you ain't getting your face slammed. It ain't like the enemy ain't just wrecking your world. We can tell. You just got to get to the point and say, you know what? I ain't got nothing. Else. Look, I need help. I'm messed up. I don't know what to do. I don't know how to handle this. It's too hard. It ain't too hard for God. It's supposed to be too hard for you because it ain't too hard for God. You go into people. You go into substance. You go into relationships. You go into things that God never set up to replace him. And you cannot do that. We just got to make sure that when people come in here, we're in position. When you come in here and you reach out to one of the other brothers, we just got to make sure that they ain't messed up. And then they tell you something because they on the creep. Because the spirit that's in you that's already messed up, Mozilla, it attracts another messed up spirit. If I come in here and I want to screw, I don't care about having a mic. If I just want to screw that screw of spirit will attract somebody else. Be like, who in here? Oh, Kita. But Kita's on the front row. Uh-uh. There's a spirit in me that's attracted to the spirit in her. We got like spirits. Now we both out there screwing. You be like, well, how did that happen? So you got to make sure, first of all, you come in here and it's like, hey, wait a minute. I messed up. It goes to the altar. You don't hide that stuff. You don't act like you got it all together. And then when I go to Kita, Kita say, look, I know why you came to me. Because I've already done some things, but it's going to stop here. I'm responsible for my brothers and sisters. You can't come to me and get me to go back out there with you as if that pool ain't that strong. Y'all playing. As if that pool ain't that strong. So you mean you're going to get to come into the sanctuary, get delivered, get promoted, get all these things going for you, and Satan just going to be like, oh, I'll leave him alone. I missed that one. No, he's coming. He'll send somebody in here to get you. He'll send somebody in here 
to get you and you call yourself ministering, mentoring, but you ain't fully developed. You ain't fully delivered. You playing and now you're getting exposed. Now you're getting exposed and then we look up and look, well, what happened to so-and-so? Playing. I don't care what you know about me. That's one thing you can't say about me that I lied to you. You know everything. You ain't got to call TMZ. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. You know why? Because the enemy, little John, ain't going to beat me up with my past. I, it happened. I'm going to tell you where it happened, who I did it with, and my state of mind when I was doing it because that's going to help you because your state of mind. Uh, hey, I believe in, you know what, Satan, since you did what you did to me, I might as well get some glory for God out of it. I might as well make sure Naomi don't go that way. I ain't afraid. I ain't afraid. I ain't scared. People are scared to tell you because they want you to think, well, we got it all together. Now I came in here raggedy. Still have raggedy thoughts. Still have them. I got to fight that thing every day. I ain't up here delivered because I got the microphone. Bitch, you're going to come back in town and I'm going to go right back to eating. In fact, when I leave here, I go back and I minister to the person who's up here teaching. Because I understand whatever you break off of somebody else, Satan's like, oh, you're going to try to break that off of Michelle. Oh, okay, well, I got something for you. Bring it, Satan, because I know I got somebody interceding. Don't nobody love me more than I love myself, baby. I've been doing this long enough to know. Uh-uh. I'll turn my plate over fast in, in, in a minute. And I, and I love to eat. Amen. Look, I love to eat. But when it comes to fighting the enemy, I can do without a bologna sandwich for a day. Pick that thing back up at three. It's warfare, and I understand that. And that's how I feel about my brothers. That's how I feel about my sisters. I hate when I see people just keep getting beat up. I'm not going to always make, I'm not going to baby you. I'm not going to play with you because what's on you ain't trying to baby you. It ain't trying to play. It's trying to knock your head off. It's trying to kill you. It ain't going to be sweet to you. It wants to snatch you off the front row. Not just you because of what your mama went through. Because of everybody who was happy for you when you came here. You got to know that you can't play with it. You got to be honest with it. And you got to submit before God like we all had to. And resist the enemy. It's just that simple. Ain't no magic formula. We didn't throw no bubble dust on nobody. You just had to submit. I had to submit. When that thing come back, get back down there and submit again. You wonder why things ain't working out. Some people who come back, Vernon, just strong enough to know that, hey, I already know where to go home to. Uh, hey, ain't no need of me acting, no, acting like I got it. Ain't no need to drive. You be a maid who drives by the church. Right. Oh, every day. Enemy beating them up. Like, as if you come back in here, I don't care what kind of state you in. As if you come back in here, we're going to get in trouble with God and not let you come back in here. There's some people that I don't ever want to see before I did some hurtful thing. Let them walk up in here. I'll stop this microphone and go and intercede. It ain't never that deep. Because it ain't about the person, it's about the principalities. And it takes a lot to shake that thing off there and drag it here. Some of y'all came in here dragging. Man, I ain't got nothing else to say. Some of y'all came up in here dragging. Yeah. I'm at my ends, what's in? Yeah. You don't know what's on my mind. You don't know why I post what I post. You don't know why I do what I do. It ain't just the men that came in here lame. Dragging. Yeah. And I just need to get under the power of God. I just need to get somewhere where they won't play with me. I don't need nobody being my friend when I'm in a situation. Tell me the truth. Don't let me get away with that. Let me remind me how much of a woman of God I am. I'm not a piece of meat. I'm a man of God. I'm a priest. What is a man like me doing in this situation? Are you kidding me? Come on. Not the God I serve. Come on. I ain't scared of the enemy. I ain't scared. What am I going to do? What did it say? I'm going to draw nigh. You submit. Yes, you resist. Yes. Stop giving in to everything. Right. Come on. You can't do that with your mouth. Yes. <laughs> That's an action word. You can't submit with your mouth. Your actions. You got to submit with your actions. You got to resist with your actions. You can't go to the club talking about, I'm going to see if I got enough strength to resist the enemy. Right. Right. You can't
can't be liking your baby daddy's post talking about I got enough uh, strength to resist the enemy. You can't be looking up what your girlfriends is doing. They only post the best pictures. We was taking pictures. We didn't post the raggedy pictures. We post the best pictures. People post the best pictures on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. They done Photoshop some things, crop some things out that you can't see. Come on now. To make it look like they doing good out here. That's good. It's good. Look at me, bang. Yeah. Uh-huh. Wow. Uh-huh. The, you don't see that nigga next next to him. I'm sorry, I shouldn't say that word. I'm sorry. Uh-huh. Just come out. You don't see that nigga standing next to him. Right. And I meant to say at that time. You don't see that. So you feeling bad. I'm in church. I'm doing this. I don't have none. I don't have nobody. Valentine's Day coming up. Come on, Valentine's Day is going to be on the 14th like it was last year. You didn't have nobody. Buy yourself some chocolate and some flowers and be done. God, because what you, the love that I require, here's the thing about Valentine's Day. What I require is going to take more than the 14th of February anyway. (laughs) You're going to have to come with some 13th, 15th, and 16th. I don't want you to think that you're just going to be my boo on the 14th anyway. Matter of fact, what was you doing last year around this time? I'm not going to be all excited and put myself out there because I need. That's because I'm submitting to a God that I know loves me. There's no voids. Men can sense the void in your life. I can feel everything you need. No, they can't. We talked about on Tuesday and Wednesday that you've been cheating. No, they can't, but you putting yourself out there because you think, you think that's what's going on and you don't understand why things keep messing up, brother. I dare say, and we ain't talked, it ain't been all glorious and glamorous as, as others thought. It ain't been all beautiful. It ain't been no riding, die, chilling, kicking it. It's been some days, some tears. It's been some days that you said if I could just get a hold of so-and-so. It's some days that you wanted to. It's some days, come on, he ain't the only one. You know when you get to that point, you're like, I'm getting sick. I'm getting tired, but who can I trust with all my lameness, Mozella? Who, who can I trust that ain't going to throw it back up in my face if I tell you how raggedy I am? Can I just come? Come on. Can I just be me to you? Can I just tell you, you know, I, I got a little skank on me. Can I just tell you, you know, I, I see you walking with God, and, and I don't understand how you got there, but I admire you, and I recognize that I don't look like you look. I don't have the sense of, uh, of, of, of praise. My praise ain't to that level. I'm just hurting. Who can I tell that to without you saying, well, you know, this is what you need to do. Somebody, you, if some of you are to instantly go into a man, that's me. Matter of fact, before you even came over here, I recognized you because you was me. Right. That's right. I recognize you was me. Come on, come on. <laughs> ain't no superstars in here. Right. Trust me, ain't no superstars in here. <laughs> I promise you that. I know a little bit about a little bit of people, but I promise you ain't no superstars in here. I done made more mistakes than some things that'll make you blush. Not me, because I did them, but it'll make you blush. It'll make you be like, whoa, whoa. yep, me. Why wouldn't he? Because of who I am in God, why wouldn't he? Why wouldn't he attack your mind? Why wouldn't he make you feel like that? Why wouldn't he? Shame on you for not knowing who you are and just letting him. Why wouldn't he? Shame on you. If you could only see what God sees when he looks at you. If you could only see the beauty. If you could only see everything that's happened. It said, get you here. I don't want it to be all glorious out there. I want you home. So I'm going to make sure they keep tripping with you. I'm going to make sure things keep coming up short. I'm going to make sure certain people die. I'm going to make sure I'll do whatever, honey. God ain't scared. I'll do whatever I got to do to get you home. And you just prolonging the misery by staying out there. You better just go ahead and resist. Just say, God, okay, well, submit. I'm just going to submit, and I need some word. Because the resisting the enemy, trust me, we celebrating, we happy, we praying, Satan plotting. He said, God dang, okay, well, let me step it up. No, okay, all right. Oh, okay, they, they going to celebrate Bishop's birthday like that, posting all these pictures. Coco and Tina Sunday School class going to try to outdo us. I said one picture, KT got two pictures, okay. 
Are they going to encourage the man of God all the way in Paris? So he want to rush to get back home? Maybe he was sitting there thinking about, dang, what's going on? My church family, maybe offering was low. He just saw a picture of his family. He was like, oh, no. I got some married couples still together. Look at my man. Oh, oh no. Let me get back home. Come on. Y'all don't know. Just because you feeling down, you don't know the man of God feels down. He needs to see that. No, John, we took pictures. We like, ain't nobody going to love our man of God more than we love you, bitch. We don't care who stayed. Because sometimes it's, hot, it's timeline of before. Happy birthday, Dad. I remember when you loved me. Where you at now? Right. Come on now. Right. Where you at? Where you at? Right. I remember all the times you told me that. Where you at? Right. Come on, man. Put that on the podcast. Where you at? Where you at? <laughs> it don't mean nothing before I burn it to come home. Happy birthday, Dad. Here's where I'm at. Here is where you saved me. Here is where you dealt with every one of my issues. Here is where I found you, and here's where I'm coming home to. Come on. Come on. This is the sanctuary. I remember sitting my butt on that altar crying out. I remember sisters circling me on that altar. I remember walking this floor at 5 o'clock in the morning. This 2216 military. Yes. I remember standing up here he, bringing a word and I remember sitting there hearing a word that healed me when all hell broke loose when I thought I was losing my mind did nobody know it was the saints in this church Satan can't trick me out of here and I don't feel sorry for anybody that's been in the face of the man of God or in God who set this house up. I ain't friends with you. You spitting on a God. I need my God to be encouraged. I need my dad to be encouraged to bring me another word. I got a son going back to Boston. I can't have you making him feel like he ain't telling the truth because you want to be a hoe. Be a hoe and leave my dad alone. Do you and leave my bishop alone. You ain't got to come up in his memory of all the things he did. Yes. Put something with that. Yes. Put some respect on my dad's name. Yes. Come on now. Yes. Come on. Yes. All three of y'all put some respect on. Yes. Yes. Keep my dad's name out your mouth. Yes. Shoot. You love God? God set that man up. Yes. He's been through hell and high water to bring the word that he brings. And y'all playing. Uh-uh. I thank God, Vernon, you don't know what you are. I promised that way ahead, and I'm going to be out of here. We're going we to get home safely. Yes. We're going to go home in the name of Jesus. Yes. We're going to go home and ain't worried about slipping and sliding. It ain't no storm. If the storm come down now, that, oh, that makes to us as blessings. We ain't scared of the storm. I don't think you, I don't want you to realize or think that we're running from the storm. Ain't nobody running. Matter of fact, we know storms come. Grace has endured some storms. You better know that. <laughs> you better know that we've endured some things. That's where these muscles got built up. We may look flabby. Some of us eat a lot, but we got some spiritual muscles. We didn't, we didn't, build, we didn't endure some things. That's all right. That's too much of that Tracy fish. That's all right. <laughs> We're going to get that worked out. <laughs> Mika trying to get y'all to go vegan. Y'all thinking she's speaking foreign language. <laughs> We trying, we working on it. We gonna be, we, 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 we Tim Collins, where he at, teaching Sunday school? We Tim Collins. Solid as a rock. Ain't had a carb since 87. Solid as a rock. <laughs> Come on now, you gotta be like that. That's how you gotta walk. You gotta have that kind of word in you. You gotta have some Tim Collins, solid as a rock word in you. You can't be all, all loosey goosey, flabby, flabby, know a little scripture, know a little, or just, just mixing up. In the beginning, God did some submitting or something, just messing up the word. Satan be like, nah, that ain't what it said. Hold on. Because he know. He know. He know what he gonna com combat you with. He knows what he's going to fight you with. He ain't just swinging in the dark. He's targeting you. Target practice on your mind. Target practice on your heart. Target practice telling you you can't do it. Target practice saying, well, you know, I tried this, didn't work out. Target practice. Don't just stand there and let them just go. You got to dodge that with a word, Reg. You got to dodge that with a word. Some of us are without excuse. You got a mama that'll pray. Just follow your mama here. 
I got to get to the house of God, not because of who's there, but because I know for a fact, I don't care what they say, it is undisputed, this house of God brings a word. And I thank you. Everybody can't say that. Everybody don't go to a raw church. <laughs> I thank God that I didn't leave here confused. I didn't leave here wondering. Man, come on, finish it out, Maylee. What we got to do? What happens if you draw nigh? Draw nigh to God and he will draw nigh to you. Really? Are you kidding me? Are you sure? Amen. What does that mean? What does that mean to draw nigh? Well, let's see. You didn't draw night to drugs. You didn't draw night to women. You didn't draw night to men. Some men and women. You didn't draw night to whatever you your your emotions, your attitude, your feelings. So you got a lot of experience with drawing nigh. But when it comes to God, you just like, well, what am I supposed to do? Well, let's see. What could you do? How you give in? When the last time you got tricked? Anybody been tricked? Okay, let me just talk about me. Let me think about the last time I got tricked. It was at one of those moments when I was low. One of those moments when I got caught slipping. Emotions got caught up. One of those bad days, Michelle. Maybe my money wasn't right. Well, that's an easy, that's an any day, pick a day. <laughs> that's an easy prerequisite. Money wasn't right. Kids needed things, wasn't able to provide. Somebody said just what I needed to say, what they needed to say, what I needed to hear. And I thought, well, you know, uh, well, that makes sense. I mean, Somebody, I, I have a need. God shall supply all my needs, and I'm in need, and here's somebody to supply my needs. So this, this goes. We get tricked. We get tricked. Well, it's got to be God because everything's lining up. Everything's working out. I mean, I, I need this, and that's coming through, and this, and that's coming through. So what do you do? You start heading in that direction. Yep. You start feeding into it. You start making yourself available. You start responding. You start talking to it. That's drawing nigh to God. Do that to God. Because I promise you, everyone in here, he's pulling and tugging. He, I'm not saying nothing new. He didn't already been dealing with you. He didn't already been telling you that. You've already had those. That's why you keep coming back because you think, well, maybe now nah, I was just tripping that one day. No, nah, you know what? I just, that was just a good message. Let me come back. It ain't Bishop. Now what's the excuse? <laughs> I'm saying the same thing. That same tug, that same burning feeling where you just like, ooh, ooh. That same, oh man, I got to do better. That same, man, here we go again. That same, don't let Sunday just be that day where you just, you right, you right, I'm going to do better. And then Monday, you right back at it. You got to draw. You got to do what you did today. You got to do that tomorrow. If you stand up, praise God, and clap on Sunday, you got to do that on Monday. Trust me. You got to continue on. Here come Tuesday. Get here and get a word. You can't just go off for 9 o'clock on, on Sunday. Trust me. By two, Tuesday, that's why people come here married, unmarried, don't even, don't even want to be married. They come here. I just got to hear a word. Then come right back on Wednesday. Man, that Thursday's hard. Friday, oh boy, here we go. Well, you could draw a night like you did on Sunday. I remember how I praised you. I remember what it felt like. I remember the joy. I remember the release. I got to do this every day. Because I promise you Satan is fighting your mind every day. I promise you he's not going to wait till you get lathered up. He's going to fight your mind. He's going to wait till you come down because he knows you. He knows. Just give it to Thursday. Everything that was said on Wednesday night is going to be gone. Matter of fact, some of y'all don't play around so much. By the time you get to the parking lot, you ain't got enough word. Some married people, we try to handle it on Tuesday and Wednesday. Get home. You'll be like, we, we just left church. We just, what's going on? Satan is a, will attack you right there because what you said you was going to do, you just was saying it was lip service, but it wasn't no action. It wasn't in your heart. Right. 
It wasn't in your heart. Because the God you said, Lord, I'm going to submit to, submit to him when you get home and your husband and your wife start acting crazy. You can say amen all day and submit here. It don't count because you can't. Now, y'all ain't going to just start boxing up in here now. I mean, Marcus, y'all take that home. Y'all ain't going to just start boxing. But you'll be amazed who come to church sitting here that just got through boxing and I'm going to pick it up when we get home. Okay. 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 You'll be amazed who's still mad about that burnt toast. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm trying, I'm trying to be funny, but it is more than terse, toast. <laughs> you'll be amazed. Who, who, who didn't throw somebody uh, You didn't pay the bill You be amazed who about to go home And say you know uh, We'll twist the word Well Pastor Linda talked about lame men And that's probably why you keep losing jobs Okay Okay. You will be amazed who's storing up Energy Not to submit Not to draw nigh Not to resist the enemy But to combat who God gave them But they won't use that to combat the enemy that's within them. Right. Okay. Okay. All right. All that you feel in it that you just got to say, that burn, yeah. You got to get it out. You got to get that before the altar. And you got to say, God, don't let me leave here the way I came in here. Don't let me leave here just having to do what I have. I cannot continue. Tomorrow cannot look like it did last week. It cannot. It has got to stop. I'm getting up and I'm walking. When you go home, and I, I'm going to get you guys out of here, but when you go home, you need to read the story of the lame man. Peter and John told him, look up. And they snatched him and got up. And immediately he found strength in his legs. Some of you guys just need to be strengthened. You just need to be strengthened, Reg. You just need to be strengthened. The, the problem that you're going to have, Reggie, and I thank God that you keep coming here. That's our role. I don't want people sitting there that, that look. If I'm not here, Reggie, that's my role. That's me and Reg. <laughs> don't worry about it. It's between me and Reg. <laughs> My only problem is, man, I see that the enemy is just waiting for one more chance. He's filled you with excuses and reasons, and you don't see what we see. I ain't have you sitting next to me because there's nowhere else for you to sit. It's for a reason. I said, Satan, I dare you to mess with him while he's sitting next to me. And I ain't got to lay hands. I ain't got to spit on you. My presence is enough to know. Reggie is my brother. He's one like one of my sons. I got three sons. I got a son out there. You know Mark Anthony. Uh-huh. Because somebody going to intercede for Mark Anthony while I'm sitting here right here for Reggie. Do it again. Keep telling him that. You need a wife, Reggie. Mm-hmm. You going to keep here. How about you need a wife? Well, more than you here. How about you need some more booty? Because when you get a wife, you can get all the booty you want. Come to Tuesday and Wednesday night class. You'll learn how to do it right. That's another subject. But you can get all the booty you want when you're married. Yeah. Women, you got to wait. I don't know where we're going with this. I'm about to. You got to wait. Because the enemy will have you say, well, you know, you're right. I, I, need, I need some. I need to find something. You got to wait. We talked about that. All that burning inside of you, Kita. That's a connection your husband needs. You got to, she about to, she about to, you had to tell that one twice. That's why it's there. Don't be beaten down and feeling sad and you, and you don't act on it. You don't give those urges to somebody and so when he finally come, he, he can tell somebody else done been there. That's, that's been spent. No, that belongs to him. It's just storing it up. I'm just storing it up for you, baby. And matter of fact, when he, on those days where it gets real, real bad emotionally, you just feeling like, what is going on? I'm about to climb the walls. What is going on? That's that pull. That's that pull. You take advantage of that and say, God, you know what? He need me right now. He need me, God. You set me up. I got enough word. Whatever ailment he got, I got it fixed. I don't know everything, but I can hear a word. He need me. Don't give in to that. Anything outside a covenant is sin. It, it is what it is. I mean, I will, I, trust me. Let me say this and I'm going to be gone, I promise. Let me make sure. I'm going to be, I, I wish, I wish it was okay. 
I wish it was certain things that could happen and that has happened that will give you a pass, Michelle. I've, I've had this talk with God. God, but no, I, I know that's what your word says, but what about this scenario? Right. Okay, but <clears throat> that's for them, but what about, but you know how I am. Just as one time, Lord. When you do that, it, it pisses him off because you're telling him that I'm not God. <laughs> that I can't handle you. You mean my need? I can't handle your situation. I can't handle your urges. I can't handle... I can't handle what Satan is beating you with. That's crazy. It's no such thing. You have to tap into the untapped power of the name of Jesus. Some of us sitting here in church and have not fully grasped or, or come to grips and, and got a hold of that untapped power that's really in his name. We just shout on the surface. We just say it and we just play with it. That's why he said, you know, don't use my name in vain because you need to say it when you really mean it. We just do things. We speak in commercial tongues. We speak in tongues to convince other people. It has to be when the Spirit of God gives utterance. You need to know when the Spirit of God is moving. That's why it's important. You don't just speak freely. We need to know, oh, God is moving. So if I'm hearing you speaking, if I hear Mama, uh, uh, Mama Joe speaking, if I hear Tracy, if I hear, I'm like, oh, God, you're moving. Well, I don't want to miss out on the move of God. That's why you can't be playing with it. You got to be for real. Be like, I, I really need him. I ask God, move today. That's my sign. I need to know. His presence is here. Wait a minute. When Vernon came in here, I said, okay, God, okay. <laughs> I, I see what you're doing. Because the enemy won't even fight me. But I said, okay, that's power. He didn't come in here because he didn't have nowhere else to go. You got to recognize the power. That's why the man was worshiping him. That's why I was like, hey, wait a minute. Let me teach you some little teaching and we're going to go. We're going to go. Because I don't want you to miss out and think that that's just for Vernon. And we just standing here clapping. Oh, oh I'm glad. Amen. Oh, no, 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 no. That's power, AJ. Wait a minute. <laughs> you got that kind of power? Somebody that got that kind of credibility in the street? Oh, absolutely. Oh, then you mean that you, uh, trust me, ain't nobody better than my God. That's all you were witnessing. That was your opportunity to tap into that. Say, wait a minute, let me pull some of that. I need, hold on, that's exactly what I needed. Come on, that's what, that's it, it's here. That's a cloud of witness that the power of God is here. He could have walked into the church across the street, but he walked into here. You mean Bishop don't even have to be here for that kind of power? Absolutely not. I brought him in here when I walked in here. When you walked in here, you brought him in here. And I don't mind you tapping into it. I don't mind you pulling from the power because I know you're struggling. I know you're weak. I know you're lame. I know you're scared. I know you're afraid. Go ahead. You can tap into it. It's enough of us in here to have that kind of power to cover everybody in the name of Jesus. To cover everybody in here. Every man, every family represented, Father God. There's not a financial situation that you can't handle. There's not a couple in here, Lord, that your eyes are not on. There's not a single woman, Father God. There's not a single man. Our kids are going back. Come on, saints. Our kids are going back to school. You can cover them in Boston. God, you already in Kuwait. The angels been there. That's the only reason why Jeff is going there, because they there. He's not going to send them somewhere he's not. And, and, and God, you so bad. You so awesome. You can be all the way in Kuwait and be right here for Tamika and Beauty. Come on, God. That's the kind of God I serve. I don't want you thinking, well, I got to send God with you, honey. You'll be okay. You use God while you over there. Oh, no. He got all of us covered. Come on. He can do more than one thing at a time. Oh, I thank God that I, that's the kind of God that I serve. And I'm sorry that you didn't understand that. That you've been sitting in here and haven't tapped into that. Oh, come on. Every head bow. Father God. Whoo, man, there's some power in here, God. People need to walk in it. They need to walk in it, Lord Jesus. I thank you, Lord Jesus. We didn't tap into it. It's on reserve. It didn't go away. It didn't diminish. It didn't diminish. You did an awesome thing, God. You ordered the footsteps of my brothers into grace apostolic. God, that means everything. 
Hallelujah.